So recently I was creating a logo using SVG and I wanted to animate it. I found uh, a library called Vivas.js that creates this uh, outlining effect and then found a way to fill the background. There's definitely a, a way through CSS and with a little bit of JavaScript you can do this, but without having to do all the computation and a lot of lines of code, I was able to utilize the library and um, create this neat effect with just some simple uh, couple lines of JavaScript and a few lines of CSS. So I wanted to show how I was able to do that using the, uh, the Vivas library. I'm here at the Vivas GitHub right now, and this is a, a good introduction to how, how the library works, the different features it has, and sort of like uh, the simple process it's able to, to use to accomplish like animating these out, outlined SVGs. There's a, a good example if you do a Google search on, on Vivas.js. Um, believe yeah their their demo site has pretty much what it what it does and what it's really good at doing so you can take it a, a couple steps farther if you have some more complex animations but this can get you up and running quickly with a like an animated logo or button or kind of get creative with some different things like this um, scenerized type cartoony effect so yeah let's see what we can do to to create recreate this uh, this animation I'm gonna use Figma um, for the type and export the SVG I have a simple HTML document here with a style tag background and then my ID for positioning the SVG I'm just gonna position it center a page so that for this demonstration and so the first thing we'll do is go over to Figma it's a, a nice easy export of SVG so I'm going to grab the desktop and add in a quick background color so that we can work off of a darker palette here um, Gonna grab the text and we'll add our animate text. Give it a size of like 144 and use poppins for the the font. Set the fill to white. Let's see I need to bring this down here. I'm going to lock the background. So I can do some quick kerning with option on a on a Mac and the carrot key. Kern this out quick. Make it work modern. And micro type it a little bit. Something like that, I think. Without spending too much time on it. All right. So the first thing you got to do with Figma to create an SVG, you want to right click and then go to Outline Stroke. It's going to flatten your text there. And then we're going to add stroke for the pass around each letter for the SVG. And we can do like a stroke of three for this example. I'm using center the the outline just because when it exports, it um, seems to come out cleaner without any mask tags, and um, we want to have just the most basic elements of the SVG tag. The next thing you got to do is remove that fill, and I'm going to save it. 
from there we can right click and go up to copy and paste copy as SVG and we should be good to go there in Figma and here's what we're looking for a, a simple SVG tag with uh, just the, the minimal elements that we need we don't need to clean this up hardly at all each path has the stroke and the color so that's what we're looking for some inline styles uh, the first thing I'm going to do is remove the height and width so it's responsive and then add in a ID of we're calling it my SVG all right let's see how we're looking there so there we are we got our outline pass of three pixels and we're, we're response animating so for the style we're going to what we want to do well first actually we have to fill on the SVG tag our color so we can add our color there and then we can create a style and we'll use that my SVG ID we're going to um, basically remove that background with a fill opacity of zero. And check that out. Make sure that's working. OK. So then we're going to, when we want to run the, uh, the, my, the, the my vivas function we're going to have a callback that'll add a class called we'll call it finished and we're going to add it to this id the my svg id and we'll do the fill opacity of of one semicolon one so that'll add that fill opacity back once once we run that add class in the in the function. So first thing we gotta do is well first thing we need need to do is get the, the Vivas library for this animation part. Um Vivas J S C D N is what I've been searching. And this one comes up first, so we're going to add that library through a script tag at the top here. And that gets us up and running, or gets us ready to start using the, the Vivas library. So from the GitHub, we can scroll down. Here's all the... I don't know if I went over this, like the different examples we have through type are delayed. And then all the other features we can start running for the, the start of the, the animation. And we have the duration um, delayed, which joined from first to last frame. So just some basic animation features the timing animations nice we'll we'll add that in that'll kind of that create that easing in and uh, out effect which i don't know adds just a little bit more subtlety to it oops we gotta add our script tag below the svg in the body here and change this to our id and then this is a placeholder for the, the callback function we'll be using. So from here, we should be animating. Let's see. Yep, it's all working good. And right here, we can see there's some mitering happening. And I've had this with whether you're 
you're doing animation, SVG animation with CSS or custom vanilla JavaScript, it's just one of those things when you're working with paths and, and SVGs, it um, can be an issue. So I found that using stroke line cap and then setting that to square fixes that which took some looking because it's just not your usual it's it's capping off those corners not your usual css but um you know one of the options you have for working with stroke so that fixes that now we're ready to add that background effect so we can use that callback feature here let's see so we're just going to say func function and then object and then we can pass in the object l for the svg class list add and then our style we're going to be adding finished okay so if we did this all correctly which it looks good as far as I can tell uh, we should be filling the background there it goes so we can work with it now. We can start to adjust the, the different effects, the duration, speed it up a little bit. Um, I think we can get a faster effect out of it if we pull in all the, the past in this style here. Want that background to come in as quick as possible, so I'm just gonna make sure that that style is being applied to all these passes as quick as we can. And so, if we do an ease in, kind of adds to it, creating that hoping that illusion of, of fill come in a little nicer. So it's a little bit ab abrupt yet, the, the way the fill comes in, and we can just do a simple style on, we can do a simple style on the, the ID for transition. Let me say fill opacity. and set that to like one second. That's a little bit slow, but oh, that didn't work. Transition fill opacity, oh, transform. There we go. So we get a, a little bit more of a subtle effect. And maybe we'll make it a little less subtle. So all right, there we go. We have a nice, crisp, clean animation. And we're easing in. We're setting a duration. We, we're controlling the the effect to delayed and we're adding that class in at the end so you know just with a little bit of C a little bit of JavaScript and CSS we're able to accomplish this really fast we can sprint an idea for a client or try something out that we might be interested in doing a lot of different creative features you can take from here and, and just sort of explore different ideas um, this is kind of a base of being able to take a simple element like a logo and and create a, 
a user experience for like a loading effect. So, all right, that's all I got for now. Thanks.